Hello, everybody. Welcome to the official Clown Town podcast. My name is Chief and Jehovah, also known as Jacob. Joining me today is my co-host Dino and Hello. my other co-host Colo, also known as Swade. We'll be calling him Swade most of the time. And before we start off this podcast, I want to remind you guys that we do have a membership for the channel, and we are very appreciative of you guys uh, hop on that. We'll have uh, very special uh, sections of the podcast, specially recorded for members to see. And if you want to select that membership, it is always appreciated. Uh, anyway, let's get uh, right into the show today. How's all right, all right. Like, three takes later. Three, yeah, three <laughs> takes oh, later. All right, yeah. <laughs> I had to do that. To I had to do that three low. times. Hey. Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, hey, no, it's a. Yeah. Intros are hard, especially if you don't have something in front of you. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah I, I, I do to, them um... blind. <laughs> what do you used to do? I uh, I would stream with my uh, coworkers at the uh, Pinos Palette job. Uh, when we were doing like online classes, how many retakes we had to do constantly, especially when we had to do people's birthday parties and had to remember their names. Oh, uh, no. Was it like <laughs> birthdays for like special like members of the like class or whatever? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah. yeah. They would be like um, special members that would actually reserve uh, classes for special occasions. So a lot of these would be like specific business uh, gatherings or like weddings, that kind of crap. Wasn't like and, an oh art man. studio and bar thing that you had? That yep. Was? Yeah. Yeah, we served wine and had uh, about an hour and a half painting classes. It's kind of the foofiest, but... I mean, it's kind of neat. It's pretty interesting. Ever. That was pretty neat. <laughs> I thought it was really fun to be a part of, but... All right. Well, talking about uh, so... fun things being a part of, uh, how do you guys uh, feel about conspiracy theories? I was just about to say, I'm not a big conspiracy person, but you had told me that you had a conspiracy in the chamber ready to go, and yeah, I'm actually kind of excited actually to hear it. I just learned about it today. How do you feel about Is that... uh, conspiracy Swade? I feel about them. You feel about them? Do you believe? Do you, are there any that you believe? <laughs> any any uh... that you really buy into? It depends. It, it depends. depends on how outlandish it is, but I like to believe in most of them because they can be fun to believe in. Yeah, they are He's fun. They're fun. To, they're fun to talk about. I, I doubt as much as Swade loves space. He's <laughs> not a flat earther. That one I will take to the grave. Swade's not a flat earther. Oh uh, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Conspiracy. We live, on a, we live on a Minecraft. We live block. on a fucking pancake, dude. Bro, I'll bury myself on the the furthest end of the flat. That way you can't find me because you can't go around the globe. So you're gonna go to one end. You're gonna waste your time. I mean, you're never gonna find me. Yeah, you're Full just gonna go. You're just gonna go to the yeah. giant ice wall. Do we live in a dome? We live in a fucking dome. No, it's just infinite. What are you talking about? The infinite space isn't even real. It's just how far you can see. Yeah, the USA is just our biome, man. That's all it is. Yeah. Just, <laughs> that's why when you look out in the ocean, you can't see any further because your render distance isn't high enough. Yeah, we just oh have to like, turn up the ocean to render the rest of it. Oh my god. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's go into this conspiracy before this becomes any All right. any worse. Well, do you guys uh, believe in giants? Yes. Oh, yes. You, you, ah, yes. I, I love giants. I love the idea of giants. Have you the seen... only reason I even humor this for a second, when I used to work at Outback for the small bit I did, there was this one guy. He was hunched, but he was like seven and a half feet tall. This dude was freaking massive. He ordered two freaking twenty-two prime or twenty-two ounce prime ribs. There has to be some. Bro, out there. I think, oh, bro, wow. I think you were serving like shaved Sasquatch. I think he oh, just got groomed. Oh my god, <laughs> I was, I had to say something physically because I just like, oh, bro, how are you so big? Offense, but you are huge. Where are you from? And he's from here. He's he was born in Aiken, and I'm like, what the. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I wish I saw him again. I never saw him again before. Uh, Bro, he probably he probably was like, oh man, this guy figured me out and fucking bailed. <laughs> he probably went back oh, in the woods, growing his hair back. You found the so, fucking I'm Bigfoot. Like, so when I think of giants, I, I, maybe it's just because of like video games and stuff, but I'm thinking like colossal huge things, so I'm not super... I'm thinking, like, like when I think giants, I think like that. bigger human, you know? Have y'all not seen the old, um, like the the prehistoric shit they pull up where it's got the, the big bones. What are you talking, talking about, about like earlier primates of like, yeah, they'll on ice of... things and it's, it's giant bones and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, That's why mm -hmm. I believe in giants. And if you think about it, we, we used to hunt mam mammoths, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Nowadays, yeah, so you can't, it's, hard, it's hard as hell to hunt elephants unless you have an elephant gun. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, but it's just something that we uh, like, haven't 
socially needed in a long time. But think about it. Think about it. If today we struggle to hunt elephants without elephant guns, how the hell do we hunt mammoths? Well, a lot of humans died to kill that fucking mammoth. I can tell you that much. Yeah, and then at that point, there's still the intelligence. All right, uh, right, uh, Ungabunga suits and out the giants, and then the giants are like Ungabunga, and they walk out there and they beat the shit out of the mammoth. They just got the they got the big human to go out there and grab the mammoth by the tusk while the rest of them just stabbed it repeatedly with spears. Yeah. We have to sacrifice like twenty cavemen while one giant yeah. fucking backhands a mammoth. Get all the old people to just tackle as the mammoth as best as they can. Like with their little fucking walking sticks trying to jump on the mammoth while all the healthy guys like try to stab the mammoth to death. <laughs> uh I could see the possibility. No, I could see I could see the idea of like in human civilization, like, there's one giant born, like, giant born That's... child who's destined to be the mammoth wrangler and it just <laughs> grabs all the animals so this... the others can kill it. Conspiracy seems like it makes too much sense for where you found her from. I'm very curious to what the conspiracy is because okay. I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, hear it. so, spoiler this is 100% fake. There's no way this is real. Uh,. Oh. It's this. I think it's. I think this guy's Canadian. It, it was taken. It was a video taken in Canada, and it's one of the fakest videos I've ever seen in my life. Oh. But it's the story behind it that's really compelling, to a degree. Uh, what was this guy's name? Yeah, Canadian. Uh, Canadian. Canadian TikToker Andrew Dawson. He posted a strange, uh, tall shape on top of a mountain in Vancouver. And it, it looks humanoid. It looks very humanoid. It's like one of those shitty, like, zoom in with your iPhone and it's kind of shaky because the car's moving thing. But the object isn't moving whatsoever. And he's like, is, is it a giant? Is this a giant, like, walking up the mountain? But from the image of the mountain to the figure, the figure would have to be, like, 11 feet tall. Probably. Like, 10, 11 feet tall, like, from where it's at on the mountain. Adam that. Yeah, and it looks humanoid from the video, but it uh, it could have just been placed there with Photoshop very easily, and he just yeah. had like a still image and just have his phone shaking over a green screen or something. I don't really know how. Like, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of like that kind of video editing by any means, but but it, it gets mean, weirder. Doable. It gets weirder because later he gets uh, videos of he got contacted by the CIA. And then he started making videos of, like, there were CIA outside his house, and there was this car out front of his house, and we went to go approach it, the driver sped off. And I thought, like, maybe it's just his friend pulling off the in a fuck? car, but there's multiple cars that he, he has in video of him, like, of, like, driving up to the place that he's at. I mean, I'm sure that that was probably, I mean, I'm... Well, and then... There's no... He gets... Not to think that that was, like, a stealth SUV yeah. or whatever the hell. Well, the other thing is, he's, he gets more, like, he... he uh, what is it? He shows more videos of like them cutting off access points to the mountain and stuff. And there's nothing on the mountain, right? During this time period, during this time frame. And then, except for that thing that he saw the one time. And as as it goes and develops, this guy is, he eventually makes a video saying that it was all fake. It was all scripted. You know, nothing was really going on about, you know, the giant, like it was all fake. And he, I mean, he even had like, a video of a helicopter going over the mountain, dropping down like, uh, dropping down like, uh, evac ropes and things, and people going up and down the uh, ladders on it and shit. And I'm like, okay, I mean, that could have been a green screen or something like that. But then, like, ten days after he posts the video of it being fake, he's he's like, I'm scared. He's like, this shit is not fake. It, my video is not fake. You're probably never gonna hear from me again. But it's not fake. And then, uh, okay, so and then, it, and then, like, two months later, he died. Did he? Re mm. Do we actually have proof that he's actually dead? I doubt it. I doubt that there's real proof. Uh, I was about to there's say, been a there was an obituary posted, and uh, there was videos of his girlfriend mourning his death and stuff. But it all could have been fake. But there hasn't been any more recent developments. But this happened months ago, and I'm just now starting to see like new things. Like, uh, what is this? Know your meme posted two days ago about a man goes viral after posting video of an alleged giant in canada and then all these other articles and stuff are just posting up within this within this past week of this guy's fucking videos and stuff and people are like the internet has a funny way of redigging up things yeah like 
context is brought up and then they realize oh shit here's all this evidence or like videos that oh, relate that, oh to dude this, this dude got thing. whacked by the by the cia or something like that i'm like well, first of all i guess the cia doesn't really operate in canada i don't think yeah it's not i don't More think of a so United, like a usa thing but I, I don't know if they maybe they could operate outside of it i doubt it maybe i mean i'm sure canada has their own version of the cia yeah, right? yeah, yeah i think so i think you're right yeah. uh, so it's probably I'll just that I'll double check that actually real quick while we're going up. If you have anything more to talk about on that. Uh, well, hmm, couple things actually with the. Hmm. I, I, I can see a, there being. Oh, go ahead. I, I was gonna say I do have a topic to lead from this, but I'm. I, you can keep going. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, we, we're still on this a little bit. The Canadian counterpart of the I, CIA is the CS CSIS Canadian Security Intelligence CSIS. Service. Okay. But okay. Can you? But did they? And during the story, did they ever refer it? as the cia or as that uh as cia mm. i feel like it's a pretty big tell if this is all happening in canada or at least all this evidence of this man um was in canada why is it not the C that? csis oh i guess because cia sounds more spooky especially if it's a fake I like can't. it being a fake story like because i'm going with oh, the i'm dang. i'm going with that it's fake but Probably. i like to think what? like it's fun to think that it might be real I would like to think that up until the air quotes CIA investigated the mountain, that's where I feel like the I start doubting things. Everything else sounded maybe it makes sense, just maybe. Well, maybe it'll maybe this will change your mind a little bit because not long after all that, they started constructing this um, this building on top of that same that on that exact spot where that humanoid figure was was seen at. And there have been other TikTokers that have gone there before they constructed this during this time frame to view the mountain. There was nothing Fuckers, there. Dude. And then they just started <laughs> building this. Fuck it looks like a radio, like a radio tower area, like a broadcasting area. But so like you, just, you huh? said it was a blurred video, right? Like it was it was, a, it was kind of a shitty video, shitty quality. It was shitty quality, but it's because he was zoomed in. And here, actually, let me screen share it. I'll screen share the video with you guys. Hold on. All right. Uh, so I'm thinking, what, if it's, what if it's not a giant? What if it's an alien? What was an alien? Mm. Well, there, there are conspiracies of it being a, um, a uh, Nephilim, which is the Hebrew giants. Hebrew giants. Yeah, uh, it's uh, they're they're like made from clay, and brought to I think usually protect a rabbi, or controlled by a rabbi. But here, here, here's the original video. I'm gonna mute it, but this is from Know Your Meme. Oh no, my picture isn't right. Hold on. Oh wait. Just let me know whenever you got it. No, you're good. You can go ahead. Oh, okay. TikToker rumored to have passed away after posting a strange video of this guy. It already kind of looks like me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, Pink Mountain said CIA was stalking him, dies three months later. But I don't know if there's any hard evidence that he's dead. Uh, can we just get to the video? Yeah, here we go. Where would you yeah. even find something like that? Uh, here's the video. I don't know, like calls mom or something. I uh, don't know if I'd say that's a giant. That kind of look. Oh wait, never mind. I just saw the perspective. Okay. Yeah, yeah you see ah! where it was yesterday. I spoke to some locals, and that's where it was. Uh, and then the I think they show the building in here too. Yeah, and this is the building on that exact same mountain. That they were constructing. You see that? I mean, it kind of looks like it could be like a radio tower or station or something. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking aliens. Thinking I'm aliens? Thinking aliens. I don't know. I think that might be the final product of it. I don't know. Unless it's like a really unfortunately like, but going from like primitive alien. I can't imagine it is. Well, who's to say aliens aren't giant? Oh, yeah, here. Here's the. Uh, I mean, you're of, right. You're absolutely right. Here's I'm a video just of somebody like... blocking off an entrance to the mountain. And then there's a helicopter flying over the same mountain. So, okay. Uh, and I then think I there was the like, he, he was showing like, yeah, he suggests that there could be UFO, like UFO, because there was something right here that's kind of going on. The so, thing in the mountain. If you don't mind, home. tinfoil hat on real quick, like I did uh, the last episode. Yeah. I am super convinced that um, if we're going to see aliens anytime soon, unless it's like you know world ending or anything we're gonna see them out of meteors or something because that's kind of how earth was formed in terms of like gaining water and bacteria and all that stuff yeah, yeah meteorites so, striking that already had living um had living bacteria and stuff on it 
That's all like maybe there's a possibility here. to have maybe uh, a foreign, even just like, you know, something uh, something like the equivalent of a cockroach or something, something that'll just you know latch on to anything that feels comfortable to them, and they end up, you know. I mean, who's to say some insects haven't around. came from previous meteorites that have struck Earth? Mm -hmm. I so mean, I'm just we like, don't know. <laughs> you know, they've just always been no, here. No, well, us. I'm saying, what I'm saying though is that um, maybe it's a possibility that, it, you, especially since you said with the Hebrew giants, they're uh, based on a clay-like um, like body, right? Yeah, they're fo they're made from clay. I don't remember the exact way that they're formed, but I just know that they're they're, they're born from clay. Could be a possibility. I don't know. It's I just, don't know if they're okay. Like... Tinfo hat off, but yeah. Would be interesting to see if um, we could find any more evidence on the gentleman that actually uh, passed away. I feel like that would be yeah, that would be the big thing. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I could probably look up a little more about him. What the hell? I'm looking at the comment oh, yes. section of uh, <laughs> of this fucking video. Uh, this guy called Joe Tear God. I love how the conspiracy is that the advanced CIA Illuminati have managed to hide giants and stuff for this long, but can't manage to deep fake that guy's face to not look away from the camera or let him use his phone after stopping him and his girlfriend stay online. LMAO. <laughs> Oh, so, you know what that sounds like? His girlfriend is still alive and is still... No, yeah, him. there's videos of her on TikTok uh, mourning his death and stuff. And then there's, like, an official bit obituary and things like that. Oh, Lord. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's on TikTok, though. Does this sounds exactly like an ARG to me. <laughs> Ultimate troll, he faked his death in a tech age. Dude, that's so weird, LMAO. I could just, it could all just be a setup, though. I won't believe it till I see his corpse. If it's real, people should go oh there and back it up. I want to see this man's dead ass body. In a I mean, that's, I like how that's basically what I just said, but way more gruesome. Oh my god. That's not uh, I won't be satisfied till I see this man's corpse. Oh my god. <laughs> He oh said, why, is, why wasn't it an open casket funeral? Hmm? Hmm? Who body in there? <laughs> what shoes he wearing? Oh, bleed. Uh. Oh, my God. He claimed he uh, that would make me laugh if he legitimately fakes his death and people... What if he did this to like escape somebody? Right? He's like, oh my god, I can't, I can't go back. I, I have to fake my death. They're, I gotta fake my death. I, They're gonna kill me. <laughs> the CSIS is gonna kill me. I would love to hear later on that this was just an elaborate ruse to fake his own death, and he was legitimately close to doing so. I'd be genuinely impressed. Because <laughs> I mean. Now, I mean, now that we talked about it, yeah, where do you fucking, unless you know the damn person, like, how would you confirm that without saying a fucking mangled corpse? I mean, it sounds like you did a pretty good job. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was wrong. Uh, oh, about what? Uh, about the Nephilim. Nephilim oh. are the products of the sons of God mingling with the daughters of Adam, the great biblical giants, the fallen ones, the... Raphaim, the dead ones, these descriptions are all applied to one group of characters found within the Hebrew Bible. Who are the Nephilim from? Where do the heroes of old, the men of renown, come? Okay, so they're like heroes, sons of God. And, okay, they're a product of a copulation between divine beings and human women. Okay, so that was not it. What was I thinking of? What are, what are the Hebrew... Hebrew... I was kind of sold with the clay giant Hector's thing. Clay giants. Like when it comes oh, to giant, like humans, fucking one hundred percent. They're called golems. They're called golems. That's where golems oh. come from. Or <laughs> God, uh, I thought they had cooler names. Now they're just golems. That's where the word golem originates from. I'm just oh, an idiot. Your origin sounded dope as hell for it, man. Like I'm fucking yeah, tucking that away. Uh, do you want to know was... the origin of golems over here? 
<laughs> yeah, let's go to the golems the clay protector or mud monster who is the golem the golem is a jewish tale whose primary narrative comes from the late 1500s though their earlier accounts of the creature made of clay all right well anyway they're just made of clay and they uh basically protect rabbis under rabbis control you know the oh my god the minecraft villagers what? are jewish because they have the iron golems protecting them <laughs> oh, like, that realization Bruh. oh my god I can, they're I hebrew can really the, the villagers oh, in minecraft my oh my god if you've ever killed a fucking group of villagers in minecraft you're a nazi that's another conspiracy if you're in another one. Oh no done Steve from Minecraft, a Nazi? What? Clown Town Conspiracies. <laughs> this is an official Clown Town Conspiracy. Uh, so, are, are we are we kind of done with the, the giant topic? Yeah, I think yeah, we yeah, are. yeah, we can move on. Okay, okay, so leading from the giant topic, kind of branching off of it. What about dwarves? What do we think about dwarves? Oh I mean, my goodness. I mean, those do you, clearly do you exist. Do you just, They're just yeah. I don't have any evidence to back this. Not like, not like Jacob, how he had a, a whole PowerPoint for it. But... No, I, no, but... <laughs> So, what do you mean, like um, being like a race of people, like separately yeah, from? Yeah, no. So, okay, hear me out. I think okay. Shot in the dark here. Uh, I think midgets are dwarves. Yeah. So, hundred percent. I'm totally correct on that. Yeah, yeah I, I can. Agree with that. I believe we have convinced midgets at this point in in age to we've convinced them that they're not their own race of people, but they, they're dwarves. They're, they're dwarves. You think like I, it? Well, you know how. DNA separated over, you know, over generations and stuff. How like, you can get certain aspects that your parents or even grandparents don't have, but like your ancestor had. Yeah. yeah. You know, like maybe if let's say there was a race of dwarves, you know, in ancient human times, let's say there was like another humanoids that were much smaller. I think there were a, um, actually, no, actually Swade, there was, there was a, a race of, uh, smaller humans. It was an African tribe that... Pull uh, it up, Jacob! What? Pull it up. Uh, pull it up. Okay, yeah. Uh, they were actually not considered human, and people hunted them until, like, really recently, actually. That's a good segue, because I was like, you know, I think naturally when uh, people see midgets, um, I mean, unfortunately, <laughs> they, do, they do get fucking bashed quite a bit and i think that's just even in our you know our non-violent society like that's our way of kind of like pygmy they, they were they were called uh that makes any sense like pygmy uh pygmy peoples of the thirty thousand pygmy. pygmies in rwanda an estimated ten thousand were killed and another ten thousand were displaced they've been described oh. as foreign victims of the genocide okay what the hell ten thousand fuck uh, the pygmy population was the target of inter Hamwe during the 1994 Rwandan genocide. Of the 30,000 oh pygmies in Rwanda, kind of recently. Yeah, they were they have been described as forgotten victims of the genocide from the end of 2002 through January 2003. Around 60,000 pygmy civilians and 10,000 combatants were killed and often cannibalized in an extermination what? camp known as Effesur Le Tablier. During the Second Congo War, human rights activists have made demands for the massacre, massacre to be recognized as a genocide rather than ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing? Jesus Christ. Well, that's what? what that's the nice term that people use instead of calling things genocide. Like um oh, I actually did a report no, I mean, I... on the uh, Bosnia genocide, which during our time frame in that, uh everybody called it an ethnic cleansing. Um which the motherfucker who's behind that only got 40 years in prison. I'm fucking floored over here, man. Oh my god. The smallest known member of the hominoid family is Homo flor florsiensis. Discovered by... Fucking... I fucking destroyed that translation, but Indo they were discovered by Indonesian and Australian scientists in a cave at Langbua on the island of Flores, Indonesia, standing at just one meter... Three feet three inches tall and inhabits Flores has it inhabited Flores as recently as thirteen thousand years ago. I'm oh. just kind of actually floored because I I mean I've always thought in the back of my head right that like midgets have to be some kind of like branching off like 
subtype of humans. It's not just like a birth defect, I don't believe, at this point. I mean, there's a difference between people. I mean, it's clear when it, there's a difference between somebody who's clearly not supposed to be the size that they are and then, you know, a normal well, so small. It's, it's like they're able to reproduce and they reproduce and they make more midgets. Therefore, they have to be, like, in, they have to be their own you know, species at this point. Not, well, not necessarily species, but, you know, type of... I get species. what you're saying. I don't know what the proper term would be, and I'm sure that like, one just, day it's going to correct us. For the record, I'm not bashing on midgets. I'm just saying, I think it's cool as shit. I think it... I think... Just in general, life would be more interesting to have them around, just because it's another, you know, flavor of person. Well, you know, on so, that topic again, you know, another, another thing about why I think something's weird about them. When, how many midgets have you seen in your life? I mean, um, I'd say six in total. That might not be correct. Have you ever seen them again? No, that's that's I'm why sorry. I was like, oh no, because they go in the ground, dude. They go in the ground. They're like dwarves. Okay, that's wait, right. I work. I I work <laughs> with two height directionally challenged people. Okay, have you asked them? Have you asked them where they live? No. I bet you I'm not. Say, a, I'm not a uh, freak. <laughs> They would go, uh, and then they wouldn't answer you because they live in the ground. So wait, they're not hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking the hobbits' eyes. Uh, literally, I, I love that. Once again, ah, uh, conspiracy theories. They make sense for a sec, and then there's a turn that they make where they're like, ah, oh, oh no, no, no wait I, a sec. Just, I think that's just me being stupid. <laughs> I love it though. I, they're fucking plants. I swear to God. <laughs> They're plants. Yeah. <laughs> they're plants. You ever seen one be born? No. It's because they're fucking grown from the ground, man. <laughs> I wish. I wish that fucking like dwarves were like a massive race in our society, and we're like really advanced technological like <laughs> like iron workers and stuff. Me, whether you were joking or not, that I feel like I haven't seen them for a hot ass minute. That's and my maybe... point. I'm telling you, dude. Why do they only come the around during Christmas time? No, I've just, oh my god! <laughs> I, I just you know that's how SpongeBob like got his I... voice. Wait, what? Huh? It was a midget, and SpongeBob got the the voice actor for SpongeBob got the idea for SpongeBob from a midget. Oh my goodness! He just heard a midget, and he's like, "Hey, yo, I kind of like your voice." So like, there was this. They were they were uh, they're what, what the fuck was okay. it? There was a guy like a there was a like a direction challenge man uh, trying to get this role for. Uh, I don't know what the correct term for midget is. I don't want to keep saying midget because I know it offends dwarf. people. Dwarf. Small person. Small person. It's dwarfism, so dwarf. Okay. Well, anyway, it's there's a midget. <laughs> Why don't we look it up? What is the socially acceptable term? Work. Anyway, but yeah, no, there was this, uh, there was this dwarf who was trying to, you know, get the, who was trying to get a, uh, like an interview or whatever. He's in line for like interviews for elves and to be an elf or whatever. Saying he's like. And the the I guess the voice that responded was standing there listening to him talk, and he mimicked his voice in order to do the voice response for Nickelodeon. He was like, he was like, he just kind of sounded, yeah, yeah, you know, if it wasn't for the Christmas shit, I wouldn't fucking work. You know, I'm grateful to have it knock on wood, but motherfucker, it's always with this fucking Christmas shit and something, something like that. And that's just how we got how he got his fucking job. He's <laughs> like Nickelodeon doesn't like me to tell the story. <laughs> 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 They're kind of watching me as we speak. Can we can we talk about something else? <laughs> yeah, my producer is like Nicole. out there with a fucking shotgun, ready to put me down at any moment. He's like, I have I have an endless supply of people who can replace you on the internet. Just give me the word. I have a guy who will work for a whole lot less. Oh my god! You ever think they ever said something like that to Fred when they started doing shows for him? Oh, dude! I actually watched. Uh, you can so you can find his TikTok, and he will. Um, He's still making stuff, really. Yeah, yeah, no, he talks about that that shit. Wow. How he, I think he hated her or some crap. I don't remember. I don't remember. I didn't actually watch it. I just kind of, you know. I never watched it either. But even just the small little graze I had with the acting world, I can only imagine. <laughs> The kind of, especially since they probably don't respect him because, you know, he's a YouTuber. And at the time, well, it was, was also, like, um, yeah. who was the uh, director for iCarly? Uh, oh, Dan, um, Dan Harmon? Uh, Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider. 
Yeah, you know the weird pedophile fucking guy. Schneider. Yeah, the dude who was always yes. about like feet and shit like that. Dude was fucking weird. Yep, he was the one that I think when Fred got mostly into Nickelodeon, he he was the most interacted with. Toxic. Poor Fred. You talking about the YouTube Fred? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I missed you, that. You guy. remember how he got that uh, weird? He got kind of on Nick a lot. Yeah, he he his career kind of went downhill after that. Yeah, he even oh. made a movie with iCarly, and I'm not gonna lie, kind of liked the movie. Thought it was good. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I think his name was Logan. What's his name? I want to say I don't, his I real don't name. Remember. But uh, he was a pretty cool guy overall. I mean, you have to be pretty cool if John Cena's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just. It's funny that he's such a relic of his time, but like, we were talking about like Nickelodeon agents. Dude, conspiracy like hat once first. again. I swear Nickelodeon sabotaged the fuck out of him, man. Huh? Dude, Nickelodeon, so many no fucking show like, um, TV companies sabotage the shit out of their, um, out of their actors and stuff. Like, really, like, if you don't do their bidding, they set you up for failure to a degree. If, if I can't have you, no one can. No one can. Here, drug addiction. I've only met one, I don't even think he was a director, but even just... He, he was recruiting for some kind of uh, commercial or whatever. But oh, yeah, just, you did like even commercials that, or something like that, didn't you? The snobbiness of this motherfucker, dude. Oh, did, my wait, God. Wait, you, were a, you were in a commercial? Hold up. Yeah, no, didn't no, no, you no, do no. like... Oh, well, okay, so I was a part of... Um, I don't want to call them out, but I was a part of a talent agency in Washington State. So, um, I, uh, so how I heard about it was just online or whatever. Uh, there was an audition of like fucking, I would say 35 people in a room to even get in the agency and about nine of us got in. So then uh, that either uh, the paperwork that you have to write out and stuff, you can specifically like write down stuff that you're interested in because they do have different facets like voice acting or commercials or voiceovers for commercials and stuff like that. I was trying to do voiceover stuff, but they completely ignored it and gave me a bunch of Bollywood crap. Bollywood? But, Bollywood? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just wasn't enthused about that at the time. Wait, but wait. If you were to... I'm sorry to keep interrupting wait, you, but is it because no, you're, you're, you're tan that they gave you Bollywood crap? Yes. Or you yes. Yeah. Like, oh. No, that is exactly <laughs> why. I mean, granted, it's... I understand why, because... I mean, that is a good trait to have to look like different ethnicities so that it's more natural for you to have different roles in certain stuff. But at the same time, I fucking wrote voiceover crap, like voice commercials and stuff like that. And the job they, I wanted. And they completely ignored that. And they just, they were like, all right, let's put you out in the open because, yeah, we think your fucking skinny physique is a great idea to put on fucking camera. But like, let's get you doing a weight loss commercial. <laughs> no, <I> just... <laughs> But it just it frustrated me to no end. But the only fucking um commercial lead, like I said, I don't even know what position he was a part of, but it was some um commercial for like healthcare or some crap. And the way he was talking to me, because I reviewed some of his lines and stuff, and when I spoke some of it, I would at the time I wasn't really down with like reading things exactly for word, just because if I read it and fucked it up, I felt more uncomfortable, especially if you're in front of these people. You're trying to convince them to take you into their commercials. So you want to do your best right then and there. So sometimes you have to ad libs or like, you know, say stuff on the fly instead of being on the script just so it sounds better. But he did not like that at all. Uh, he, he, he was very colorful about his distaste in that, which is really annoying because a lot of the other roles that I was offered complimented me on that kind of stuff. But this dude was such a dick. <laughs> I this dude's a fucking asshole. I Maybe it was because it was like six o'clock, and apparently that's when they're supposed to go home or whatever the fuck. But he literally sought me out first, so it's like, okay, why are you upset that you're staying longer? I don't, I don't get what the problem is. It just you've been sitting in this chair this entire time, fuck nuts. Like, I <laughs> give me it a hurts minute. my soul that I had such a bad experience with that whole thing. But I think that's just the uh, nature of agencies, because even with like, like. Uh, daily job agencies and stuff like that, where you can go in and they'll just give you like, okay, you can go to this construction site or go to the uh, port and help out with some cleaning stuff, that kind of crap. The quality of life when it comes to like outsourcing people on time and just like the HR part of things on 
like agency side of stuff is garbage. Yeah. It's it's terrible. And I think that was just kind of the nature of the acting one as well. So I could imagine it being um, pretty garbage. It kind of it's it's weird when you first start training with them, just because a lot of them have or some of them will have some of the same archetypes as you do. So it kind of like it gives you this sense of um, like ah crap. I have competition's not the right word, but you get what I'm saying. Like it's like. You're not as unique as you thought you were when it comes to like what you thought you were bringing to the table, which isn't yeah. a bad thing, because and that challenges you to like, or it should challenge you to be more creative. But being in a room and never meeting these people, and also being in the big city that it was, and I'm not going to mention because then I'm basically going to mention what talent agency it was. It was stressful, bro. You already, uh, you already said the name of the city. You said what state? You said what state? You said Washington. In. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, he was in Washington D.C. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never know i did say state though so you got yeah, that you missed washington state but yeah but uh i can only imagine what fred had to go through on nickelodeon when they have no respect for him just because he's a fucking youtuber even though yeah even though nowadays. youtube's become the dominant fucking <laughs> everybody's watching fucking youtube dude like nobody's watching regular tv anymore unless it's on a streaming service i think they don't unless it's like a really big thing. I'm I'm gonna have to pull it up here in a sec, but I know that they haven't broken over like 700k with a bunch of like really big time stuff. I'm about to look up what like the uh the watch numbers were for the NFL, but I know that they're dwarfed. I mean, even people are still yeah, even still like people who are watching it are still watching it on a uh, like a streaming service like ESPN Live yeah. or you know whatever in the fuck. Like it's only for major events too. Very few people still have like cable or satellite TV or anything just because it's so fucking expensive. I know my dad at one point with uh, direct TV, he was paying like almost $300 a month just to get the shit he wanted for channels. Meanwhile, I could just buy like Hulu live TV for like $45 a month and have, you know, live TV if I wanted it. And it has everything you want. And if it doesn't, the regular streaming, other streaming services will have it. I just pay like another five bucks here and there. Rather than paying like 250 bucks just to have fucking TV with 986 channels that I'm never going to fucking watch besides four of them. <laughs> and then there's just YouTube where I can just look up what I want to fucking watch and watch that for a while. And maybe somebody will have something else that I want to watch. That's my shtick on it. Okay, maybe NFL was not the best comparison because that is super duper duper popular still. So I don't think NFL will ever die out in terms of viewership. Oh, I mean, sports probably... in general aren't going to die out. Yeah, that might have been the worst comparison ever. But I know, like, fucking legitimate TV shows are like, eh. Well, I mean, yeah, Especially most, since most streaming like services just are just streaming. taking them on. Yeah. Because they offer more money. They give them a bigger budget on these streaming services than they do, like, a fucking uh, network outlet. You know Smiling Friends? Oh, this isn't, like, a live oh, TV. It's an animated yeah. show. Oh, my God. Yeah, I fucking love Smiling Friends, but they gave them for that whole fucking season the budget of a single Family Guy episode. Wait, what? Yeah, for that whole season, uh, so I get, uh the the two uh, the two gentlemen that made it, fucking, only had enough money that would cover a single episode of Family Guy. Like, so the the budget that they usually give people for like an episode of Family Guy is what they gave them for the entire season of Smiling Friends, and they still had Gilbert yeah. Gottfried in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's... I can understand why on paper, why you would do that, just because, like, on... Like, especially for the zaniness they went went for... Comedy is so subjective. Like, that is kind of a big gamble to put that much money into something that people might not even fucking like. But I'm glad that they landed, so hopefully they'll get a yeah. bigger, bigger budget next time. Oh, uh, they're definitely yeah, having a season, too. Um, Zach Heidel and Michael Cusack, those are the two guys I was, I was thinking about. You I knew know, it was Zach, but I didn't know his last name. On the topic, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of segueing again. I'm sorry. Uh, no, we love you're it. You're good. Yeah. You just you keep you keep sparking ideas in my head. Uh, no, that's exactly what you, we're here to do. Did you guys hear about Netflix doing a game streaming service? What a game streaming service? What does that even fucking mean? <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, um, let me think of things. Um, like something like uh, Battle.net or whatever. Like game Pass, I guess. I think I don't think it's um no I guess it'd be more like a, the old what is that old oh, 
What's it called? Gamefly. Gamefly. Yeah, it's like Gamefly, except you don't get the disc, you know, sent to you. So they just give you like a key for like a few days of you own this game or whatever. I feel like yeah, Netflix right. did something like that a long time ago. No, well, they might have done the disc. I think yeah, they, they did, did the disc. They did the disc. I can't say it. They did guys, the disc. You guys ever get like a game from Redbox before? All the time. I used all to do it all the fucking time. I ever, used to, but it was like really not stuff. Ever, like, did you ever you just grab a, another CD and just put it in the box and just keep the game that you wanted? <laughs> oh my god! No, I don't think anybody that. ever, dude. I know for a fact no one gave a shit because there were blockbuster movies that uh, we used to have that we never got fucking late fees for, and they just. We had them. Uh, oh, they did I ever shit? Or at least certain locations. Uh, you guys, you guys have a GameCube back in the days. Open up another memory of mine. You guys... I did. Did you I have did a game? Not. You did not. Uh, so you never played Smash Brothers Melee? Or... Nope. I didn't play that. I played. I the only game I have game. memories of on that is some type of Mario Tetris thing. And oh, okay, three. Um, Jack and Dexter, I think. Jack I and Dexter. On that? No. I don't think it was on that. No, I Jack and Dexter on PlayStation. Yeah, I, I was thinking of something else. But I think, for sure, the fucking monkeys in the uh, fucking hamster wheels. I can't remember what that shit's called. Ape Escape? The one, oh, no, you're talking about like... uh, Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball, oh. whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, no, I that was on the GameCube, that. right? Yeah, yeah, I played, a super, I played the shit out of Super Monkey Ball, too. I don't think I ever actually played it. Was it Rayman on that shit, too? I think that was a game I played a lot. No, that was PlayStation, I think, again. But, oh, Rayman, the old ones. Uh, uh, Rayman what was a fever on, dream for us. Rayman were on Nintendos. Okay. On I wasn't Nintendo sure. Platforms. I think it's yeah, like, no. I think Nintendo was a publisher for Rayman for a while, or Ubisoft or somebody. Up until Halo, like, all my memories of where stuff came from is completely, like, in the void. I couldn't tell you where. It's so hard to remember certain from. things. Uh, At a really young age. Again, I, I remember getting my mom. I would always get her to rent rent me Super Smash Bros. Uh, Melee because uh, because I just loved the game so much, and I didn't have a fucking memory card at one point. And I was like, I love Mewtwo. Oh my! I love Luigi. <laughs> if we return the oh disc, I'll never... and then like I just I was so sad. So he went. And my mom bought me a fucking memory card. It was a four or maybe it's a sixteen. I think she got me the big one, the sixteen one, like fucking megabyte fucking. The memory card. I'm thinking back on that shit. That shit was only like 16 megabytes. I had to save my goddamn Smash Bros. progress on. Bro, that just reminded me of something. That one Star Fox game. We somehow got a disc of it and were able to play it on the Wii, but it wouldn't save. So it was basically, it was just a race. We gotta beat it in one. Yeah. We get kicked off. We yeah. Gotta beat it was... it. Uh, no one ever did. I don't even know if we got far in it or not. I dude, I was ecstatic when I realized that the Wii could play GameCube games. I was like, oh fuck, not well, for the real? Yeah. Oh god, the Wii was revolutionary. Uh, good times. Oh yeah, massively. I remember playing Brawl on the Wii. Brawl was fun. Play Guitar Hero three. Oh god, I love games. Games are so good. Best medium out there well me okay right now may not be the best time uh, i don't know did you, have, did you have a wee suede i did have a wee you did have a wee, wee boy i what? had a wee what's your what was your favorite game a wee wee? Boy. Was just... uh this is gonna sound crazy okay <laughs> and a lot of people ah. probably won't know what it is all right uh tory bash tory you can play tory bash on the wii yep they had a wee port really what the fuck you know what else they how did that work though? Star Wars The Force uh, Unleashed. Dude, they also totally. had a port of that. That they shit. Did, they did, yeah. I had that as well. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. <laughs> Sonic Unleashed. My brother liked that game, but I ended up liking it through him. It was funny. But really, really though, like, not including Tory Bash, probably, probably Wii Sports. I played the shit out of Force Wait, what else? Wii Sports. Wii Sports? Oh, yeah, of course. Everybody loves Wii Sports. That was mainly the games I played. <laughs> like, anything <laughs> like boxing, the sword fighting, or the airplane shit, I was just all for it. Dude, I remember trying to fight fucking Matt, the the final <laughs> boss of the Wii Sports boxing. Well, really, the final boss on all the Wii Sports stuff, and trying to beat him. And I'm like, I spent hours trying to beat this guy. I'm like, I can't fucking beat him. It's impossible. Hey, is it is it always Matt? Yeah, always Matt. Matt's the final boss of Wii Sports. <laughs> oh my god. 
and fucking I'm sitting here. I'm literally like knocking this dude out repeatedly. I'm like, just stay down. <laughs> I, I swear to you, I fought that guy for like half an hour and I just couldn't beat him. I got mad. I was like, fuck this shit. My man's in a fucking raid boss <laughs> boxing uh, style. I can't. It was. That was like my first Dark Souls experience. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Why fighting, fighting, fighting mad on Wii boxing. Oh no! <laughs> the impossible task. Uh, uh, I'm sure you could beat him, but I just was never able to. I don't think I ever like got very far into that crap either. To be fair, I think I just like playing my friends. That's that's kind of all I did with that. I never really went with like the solo circuits or any of that. Yeah, I was gonna say these. I had no friends. Either. I had no friends. I had to play all these multiplayer games by my fucking self. I luckily, well, double edged sword. Luckily, had my brother and then this one kid that um I used to go over to a lot, and he played a lot of these Wii games. But he was kind of like, how do I explain it? Well, I had friends, but like they, their parents would never let them come over to my house for some reason. I always had to go over to their house. Oh, oh I went to theirs. Over? Yeah. Huh? You never played Wii and I came over. I didn't have a Wii at my mom's house. I had a Wii at my dad's house. Oh. And by that time, I think nah, my I dad moved. No, he moved later. You you, you came over to my house in what, 7th grade? 8th uh, grade. It was either 7th or 8th. Something like really that. Seven. And still, so you only came over once. So we'll wait for the podcast. Once. You guys actually know each other, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, we all know each other, Dino. You live in my yeah, house. What are you on about, Dino? What the fuck? I know, but like, as in, like, for the podcast, they like you, you two's relationship. You know, like how, how long have you known each other? Right? Fucking uh, gay, has that Dino. ever been talked about? Yeah, this is oh, gay. This is gay as shit, Dino. What You're gay. You're gay. <laughs> Fine, I tried. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> uh, no, um, I don't know. Me and Sway just had a normal friendship over the years yeah we we met in sixth grade i remember uh what was the class it was some we had it it was we it, it, it was, was like it, some weird thing our school was doing where we had to go into the computer labs um it had like a side... called our computer classroom no, no no we had we had that weird period before the school day started where like everybody i don't know why they did it is it like you went in there and you like read for 30 minutes but nobody actually read oh, yeah, silent you. reading silent reading for like 30 minutes before the Wait, school day so actually started you were, it was were you miss miss hawks i think was miss hawks yeah i was in miss hawks's silent reading thing with you i don't remember you being in there bro you never remember me but i was in there with you and matt clune name dropping matt clune fuck you matt <laughs> and i was with uh I love brian you, and brandon i, was, I, I think you. i talked to brian and brandon in there some time uh yeah, yeah, Brandon and Brandon so and Brian. Ignored, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Sixth grade was a blur for me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, most of that was a blur. I, I, I was fat. Remember. I remember being fat. I vividly, yeah, <laughs> I do vividly remember. Maybe, maybe that's how we were sitting next to each other in the, the computer class. I think we went in there as the the morning group, and maybe we were supposed to like write up something in a book. We read. Did, were you not in the uh, weird forensics thing that our our school did too? Like where no, I was had... not in criminal science. Criminal yeah. science. That was yeah. it, dude. That was weird. That was weird. Why yeah, did they do the that? Club. What? No, kind of I was in. <laughs> I was in the gentleman's club, and I'm not going to go about that. You much. were in the gentleman's <laughs> club in, <laughs> uh, in middle minute, school. Huh? Even, I've a, never even a, heard of such a thing. There's a reason I'm not going on about that in stream. In, in the middle of the uh, stream. Did something bad okay, happen? We're recording. No. We're recording. No. Oh man! Say, you know what? Save that for the members only. Exactly. Save that for the members only. And also, side. can I just say, I love that. Like, wow, Dino, that's gay. Continues to talk about the subject. <laughs> it's called <laughs> shitting. Guys... <laughs> we're just shitting with you. <laughs> I didn't think that you guys were gonna actually go there. I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh my god, I was, I was just like genuinely taken back a little. I was like, oh, no, dude, wait, Dino, that's fucking gay, bro. <laughs> you asked. You asked. You showered. So seat. anyway. Oh, that, no, that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, that was. I just. <laughs> no, I loved it. Yeah, no, I mean, Sweet have always been gay. For your, for your, your <laughs> yeah, we'll do the membership I mean, only because only reason, only special yeah. people will, will see that. Then all right, you guys will see Sweet Gentleman Club story on the on oh, the group. All right. Please, first of all, what's a gentleman's club? Is, is it as is it as lame as it sounds? Please tell me it is. I want to know. Uh, you're gonna have to find out. It looks like you have to get that membership, Dino. Yeah, you gotta. What the? <laughs> Damn, mate, wait a second. You gotta pay a membership Stop. for your own show. So do I. Fuck you. 
<laughs> so, okay, if he has to, fine. But like, what the hell? I'll make an account just to fucking buy my own membership so I can watch my videos. <laughs> what the hell is that? Man, if I the money will go straight back to him. So I mean, he wins. This is yeah. the most contract jargon. <laughs> Fucking evil shit have I heard in my life. Okay, uh, oh, today's sponsor is me. Uh, buy uh, buy our <laughs> membership. <laughs> Get ninety nine cents. We appreciate you. Anyway, oh, <laughs> that shit's fucking wacky to backy, dude. So Anyways, does that mean you're gonna take it to the uh, grave? Huh? Uh, what? what? Please tell me, Swade. You're not taking this to the grave, right? No, like, we're talking about that members us. only. Yeah. Uh. Talking about the members only. We gotta finish this part of the show first. Can't you just cut it up? No, fuck you. I <laughs> think authentic. You think Jacob's gonna edit? I, yeah, seriously. I don't want to edit as much more than I have to. What are you talking about, you fucking asshole? Of course I don't want to edit of this shit. I don't want to edit right. this bullshit. Now that you remind me, oh my god, when I have to use to fucking edit for the classes, the two-hour classes, dude, I'd be sitting there rendering for like fucking an hour and a half sometimes. Oh yeah, oh, that's not, yeah, that's your processor right there. Mm, hey, right. It was, to be fair, I got your pro I got your processor in a bundle. What's up, Swig? Back on the topic of um, me and Jacob eating. Yeah. So, uh, fuck, you don't make me forget. <sighs> what was I going on? About? Oh yeah, we were sitting in the same class. I remember sitting there. This is when Black Ops Black Ops One came out. Yep. And Jacob's fat ass was sitting next to me. And he was. <laughs> I was panting, sweating, trying to eat my fucking Swiss yeah, roll. Yeah, he was sitting there wheezing, and I'm like, "Damn, dude, shut the hell up!" Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, he was he was sitting there, and he looked over, and he's like, "I can't remember what you said, but it was something about Black Ops. You're just, something about Xbox. I think you were like, do you play Xbox?'" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I think that's as far as it went. And then I think. I want to say end of seventh grade, or maybe it was eighth grade. It was seventh Caleb. grade. It was seventh grade. No, no, no. It was seventh grade. No, it was it was probably end of sixth grade, maybe seventh grade. Caleb. Um, oh Caleb, my god! I played with Caleb because uh, I don't even know how me and Caleb met, but me and Caleb were playing school. something together. Or I think I added him on Xbox, and then you were playing with Caleb. Yeah. And. Well, I was playing with a few of my friends, and Caleb asked to join. Well, I same guy I name dropped, Matt Matt Clune. He uh, that's how it that's was. That's how you met. Matt. Yeah, yeah. Because I was playing with Matt, and Matt and Caleb wanted to play, and yeah. I, I think and Matt um, had added me because I talked to him. I was like, "Yeah, dude, I'll add you," and he added me. Matt Matt was fucking awesome, dude. Uh, but yeah, that's how he he added me. I was playing Halo. He's like, "Hey, come join the party," and everything like that. We were the all hey, in. Yo. Like, hey. Yeah, that's how that went, Dino. Yeah, that was uh, that was ten, uh, twelve. Awesome. Year, that was twelve years ago. <laughs> and me and Swade are the only two who regularly talk to each other anymore. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I mean, high school's a fucking god. It feels like a general. lifetime ago. Yeah, dude. And even then, when you tell somebody that you play or play games, right? It's such a toss up. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Especially back then, it was like not everybody had like access to internet like on their consoles or like were able to pay for the Xbox Gold. I think it's that. I don't know about you. When I used to tell people when I gamed, you were fucking mean, man. Holy really? fuck. Dude, I, what are I you, a fucking mean, nerd? I yeah, no, really. It. Really. You'd have to pry that shit out of me unless you were a close friend. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that wasn't something. Even now, that's not something I openly share unless they hear my nickname. You then it's that? like, well, I owe an explanation. I feel bad I don't remember this guy's name, but you remember this guy in our art teacher's class, Wade, who wore like the uh, two cogs as a necklace from Gears of War? And we were like, should we oh, ask him nice. if he plays Gears of War? I think he plays Gears of War. We should ask him if he plays Gears of War. Yeah, I don't remember what teacher. It might have been a substitute teacher. I don't remember. No, it was a, it was a kid. It was a kid in our class. Oh, yeah. What, you don't think it was McKinley? No, no, it wasn't McKinley. I don't remember McKinley. It was the blonde hair kid. McKinley? I don't remember how... McKinley has brown hair! I know, I'm just saying. I love McKinley. Was it the one I punched? Was it that blonde hair kid? No, 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 no not, uh... Oh my god! Not Ryan, yeah. Yeah, not Ryan. Swade just swung hands and... And Swade did punch. It was a it's single... It was, it was a fight in the lunch line. It was a single punch. It was not at the lunch line. It was at recess. It was at recess? I thought, I thought you guys yeah. got into it at, like, in the line at lunch. No, he and said he... some shit at lunch, and I was in front of Brian and Brandon, and I think Caleb was there too. And um, Caleb instigated, was like, "Hey, you should punch that 
don't know. It might not have been Caleb. I think I think Maddie was there. I think Maddie saw it. Probably. It a, some, oh, some she did because that's how I heard about it. Anyways, <laughs> um, he came Such up to me saying part. some shit, and I was in a pissy mood that day. You know how I get my pissy moods. Yeah. And I basically was like, "Nah, fuck you!" And then I just punched him. That's all. Oh my god. Leave me alone. And just fucking smack him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I Dude, love that fucking you made the smack. middle school fights were so fucking weird. It was literally uh, just like, one punch and done. That's all. Yeah. Like, that's he made him cry. Like, <laughs> you made him cry. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Nice. Oh. Uh, I cried for like the whole day, too. I was like, damn, dude, I didn't hit you that hard. <laughs> I think it was mainly his feelings just hurt. <laughs> you said that was in middle school? Oh, yeah, it was middle God. school. Yep. That's uh, funny. It's like a weird uh, time for I him. I, I think I've talked about this with Jacob. I've probably told this to you as well, Swade. Uh, this one kid I punched in middle school. He was uh, one of my friends. He was... um. He had this, like, gap tooth or whatever, and he decided that it would be funny to get a mouthful of water and then spit uh, water through his gap tooth. He was a yeah, dick like that. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Uh, but, I mean, so he, he his mistake was that he did it to the back of my head. So uh. I just feel water poured on me, and I just, without thinking, turn around with, like, the bottom of my wrist and just, Black. I felt so bad, and that counted as a fight, and we got sent to the principals. And luckily, at the time, there were um, cameras, which was so funny. Oh my god, if I could have kept that, I'd... I'm sure both of us would be laughing about it now. But oh uh, yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> they were so mean. They were like, "Dude, your dumbass is gonna be suspended for the whole week. Uh, you're suspended for the two days." I'm like, "Oh." My god okay so he got the longer one but it was <laughs> I, your yours was intentional mine was just some fucking monkey brain response from feeling water in the back of my head yeah like, <laughs> you're like no, mine, was pure, mine was pure spite I yeah <laughs> well i mean like because your brain feels something like cold and wet going down your back you think that you're fucking bleeding so you think something's attacking you so you turn around and you fucking go what <laughs> I just remember being upset about it when, yeah. like, in the second, like, what the? And just, huh, dude, was, I got that was the only thought process. Dude, fourth, I, I think it was fourth grade. I had a similar thing where, like, I was just really upset. This dude, like, I had my head turned. I was talking to my friend. It's at lunch, and you know, in, like, elementary school, they make the whole like class like sit together in like the one big row neck, like side by side. Uh, no. What the hell? Yeah, like, so, in our lunchroom, when you, we had lunch, the class went to the lunchroom together, and y'all sat together. You could sit by your friends and all that stuff, but you just had to be at the same table. Weird. And they're, like, these long tables with, like, a single seat. The most uncomfortable seats you could possibly have. They were so uncomfortable. Oh if you fell asleep, you, you just didn't have the. Dead. You were yeah. You, you fucking didn't have died. The, uh, full, can fold out, uh, like long benches. No, they were fixed seats the on fuck? these benches. They were they were fixed in place. Uh, what the fuck? Teachers had foldable chairs that they could put at the end of the tables, but um, <laughs> we had to yeah, sit in these hard plastic <laughs> things. Some of them, my fucking broke ass fucking elementary school. They were like partially broken so like there were some sharp pieces on them and everything you'd hurt your ass trying to sit on me you cut your legs shit like that oh i mean like, these were cheap too oh my god they uh, were rusty they were uh, yeah they were definitely rusty and that's why they like <laughs> if you if, when you went uh, this is another thing, uh, elementary school every year you were mandatory you get like a fucking tetanus shot before the year started are you serious <laughs> I'm not shitting you every kid every year had to get a tetanus shot because Bruh. all the fucking rust. I think they tried to that try is... to get it to where we had to get one in the middle of the year just to be safe. Just, they're, they're just at the fucking teachers board and they're like, we got them every year. Sure they get them in the library. Control. Dude, they used to have this. But the janitor's uh, just here at the front is just like, look, I understand that we got the first shot, but here, here, here we are. There's a lot of rust in this old motherfucker. I think our, our <laughs> pipes are still made of here. lead. <laughs> I mean, semester shots aren't sounding like a bad idea anymore. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, no. I remember. I'll go back into what made me upset, but I just, I just had the the realization that in our fucking uh, library there, they had like a little fucking statue. Uh, uh, I don't remember if it was. 
I don't remember if it was Dobby from Harry Potter or if it was Gollum from Lord of the Rings. But whatever, it's this ugly little motherfucker. Like, <laughs> it used to freak me out just standing there on oh top God. of a little statue. Like, it, this thing was like three feet fucking tall. They had it proudly yeah. displayed in the fucking library. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think he's a freak me the fuck out. I think it was Gollum. It's to remind you. <laughs> it's to remind you. This is what you'll. This is what you'll end book. up. This is what you'll end up looking like if you drop out of school. <laughs> Fucking turn in a late book. See what happens. Yeah, morph you into this motherfucker. Have this motherfucker finger your asshole or something. But You're uh, telling me that you were the Incredible Hulk as a kid. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. So what made me upset was similar to your story, Dino. <laughs> Was this kid? It's very, this is not this is not the story people were expecting for this build up, but um, essentially this kid. I'm not gonna drop his name. I think, but he, essentially he sl- he swears he didn't. But I felt something cold and wet slap me on the back of the head, and I saw a piece of ham in this guy's hand that came from <laughs> around that hit me, and it wasn't like like I was sitting next to him, but he there was no reason. For him, that that he should have brushed that ham anywhere near the back of my neck. But that motherfucker slapped me with a piece of ham. And I was just, I was upset. I was so upset by him. Like, did you yeah, slap yeah, me with a piece of ham? You motherfucker. And I'm like, bro. And then, like, everybody around me was like, yeah, he did slap you with a piece of ham. I'm like, what the fuck? And then, like... And I'm like, what the? well, at the time, I was like, I was like eight. And I was like, what the heck, dude? Like, it's not cool. And then, like, the yeah. teacher, the teacher grabbed him, brought the principal there, and got him in trouble. And I'm like, I felt bad over that, but I'm like, I was genuinely upset by. It. I'm like, what the fuck? That's so weird. The first feeling of betrayal in his life. <laughs> I, I felt fucking betrayed. You slapped me with a fucking piece of ham, and I was sitting next to dude, you. I wasn't bothering oh, you or anything. <laughs> Unantagonized violence. Like, I feel no bad. Reason. I got him in trouble and everything like that. I didn't mean to make as much nah. of a scene about it. I'm like, dude, you can't do that. Nah, bro. That man slapped, or that child slapped you with his meat. That has to be called out. That uh, cannot just be. That I, can't I just, just be watched. Uh, There's uh, no way. I, I was the big upset. <laughs> over like, that. My friend had the audacity because you know he was my friend. So you know, like you, you got that level to fuck around with me, but like. This was some random kid, right? Like, just... The, f- the fuck, dude? Yeah. No, I hear you. <laughs> Why? Ugh. That shit. That, oh, my God. Yeah, that shit used to upset. That, that shit just upset me. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this motherfucker slapped me with some damn ham. I don't even talk Luckily, to you, bro. Like, what the fuck? Elementary school, the only memories I truly have are, like, soccer and tetherball. And I promise you, that was the way of getting out the fucking anger. We weren't slapping hams. We were out here fucking knocking each other out with a tetherball. <laughs> they had to take Whoa, out like... off our tetherball. No, having, they didn't. Talking about where? Where is? Where so, is this? elementary schools would have these like poles, you know, with a fucking ball attached to it. Just yeah, but, but... Jacob said they had to take ours. Are you talking about your elementary school, or are you talking about my elementary school? Oh man, Lavelle That's didn't tragic. have shit. I mean, we we yeah, played I... it on the fucking football field. <laughs> Bro, you would get your wrists bruised. You'd probably fucking knock a kid out by, with the speed of the ball. Like, that was some... <laughs> oh, man. I loved how hardcore it was. It's funny. We had, like, three kids get knocked the fuck out playing tetherballs. So they, they took it down. <laughs> they took it down to put one of those, like... You know the things where you, like, throw the ball on top and it comes out of one of four holes? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They put one of those things yeah. up there and then place of the tetherball on the same pole. Lame. Nah. Yeah, well, it was lame. I hated those fucking things. They always had the balls <laughs> stuck in them. Bro, even in elementary school, there were fucking, like, silent rules, codes of honor. Like, if you fucking, like, I can't remember what the rule was, but I think it was, like, if it, uh, if it, like, goes way too up high, then it was reset, because it's fucking bullshit, you know? Yeah. So, it, even in elementary school, I like how that... Some fucking rules of hmm. honor were fucking laid out for no reason. Oh, yeah. just, <laughs> times like that you just can't get anymore. But like, I, it's funny that they have to remove them. I don't think they removed them in my elementary school um, when I moved on. But we moved away, so they, they could be gone now. I'm sure they're gone now nowadays. Oh yeah. Me? They don't even they don't even have fucking dodgeball, which is a crime in itself. But what do I know? 
and the only people that'll play dodgeball are fucking <laughs> churches now. Right. Like after school church. Dude, uh, before I used to stop going, that's where people would play dodgeball or the youth group, like um, after services or whatever the fuck. That was all they were just in middle school. I love it. Shit was where you fucking got your testosterone out. If, fucking if people were legally able to knock a kid out. If people weren't playing basketball, we were playing dodgeball. And I got so sick of playing dodgeball. <laughs> no, really? Oh, no. Dude, I got so tired of it. I was like, because people eventually just, just stopped playing. They're like, we don't even oh, want to no. do this anymore. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to fucking do this shit either. We're just like, nobody's Burnout. doing anything. They just stopped doing and it. And then we were just like playing basketball. I was like, I don't want to fucking play basketball anymore. I'm so tired of playing basketball. And like, I want to do like literally anything else besides doing this right mm -hmm. now. But there's nothing else to do besides just walking around the fucking gym and talking. I don't want to fucking talk to you people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Once they take away the intense sports, it, it, it's not the same. I don't yeah. know. There's not that gruff competition. When, when like, like the only thing when you're trying to compete but nobody wants to compete, that's where it just like yeah, that's where it just kind of no dies fun. off. Yeah, like nobody wants to do shit. So why? What's the fucking point? The only time I got close to that before I graduated high school was like weightlifting, but that was only because the partner I had was fucking awesome, and we were like genuinely like fucking stupidly like, how much can you lift, bro? No, this much. Oh, you pussy ass. You fucking, you can add twenty five more, you little bitch. And it was a back and forth, but it was a fun back and forth. Yeah, but... it was like friendly competition kind of thing. Like it only lasted so long though. Yeah, exactly. It'd be, it'd be like that sometime. Only lasting so long. Pissed. Oh fucking a! Ugh. Yeah, All I think right. that's when. Nope. Nope. I was about to say, what's the next topic, or how long we at it? Uh, we've been at it for about an hour. So, do you guys want to move to the uh, after show, or do you guys want to roll on with this for a little bit longer? I think we're ready for the after show. Yeah, we're ready for that show. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into the Clown Town podcast. Be sure to hit that uh, membership button if you want to see this after show as well as episode zero of the podcast, which is very unhinged. In that I re I just uploaded it today along with the first episode, and it uh that was, that was a wild ride. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will hopefully see y'all next week on the official Clown Town podcast. Bye bye.